Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for stopping by, tuning in, hanging out with me this early, 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 early morning. I need caffeine. Um, which is fine, because there's an emote for that. And if, if y'all don't have it, well, you can get it. Not from here, but you can get it. It's a great emote. Uh, that is also a great emote for that Kimenzel. I, 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 well, yeah, can't argue. So we're here, and it's fantastic. And thank y'all, thank y'all for being here. And um, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing some more Marioing and attempting to find. <laughs> I like fix. Okay, so first of all, thank you for the compliment. That means a lot coming from my uh, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband. I'm I'm not I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> um, but fantastic use fantastic use of emote smoke right there. That was I enjoy that. Um, yeah. So we're gonna be doing some more Marioing, possibly solving a couple more troubles because I think there were like three left, and then I'm not sure if there's more sewer to explore anymore, but mostly I'm just gonna see if we can start the next chapter because I really need my friend Vivian, and I really need the Spike Shield badge. Yeah, I think it, I think I might be misremembering that. Currently, I think I think we're at fiance. It's 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 girlfriend. I it's, uh, I just kind of liberally lump all of them together. So we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna play some Mario and drink some caffeinated beverages together, which is great. And just a reminder that the word of the stream redemption is relatively new in the past week. So if you don't know about it, you can redeem a word for me to put on my chalkboard, and or maybe a couple of words depending. Um, polite words, please, or, or your points will be refunded. Um, but like, just, just, you can, you can have me put things on my chalkboard. Which currently is sassy. Um, and so, I mean, I don't know why I think appealing to chat would make the word on, on it less sassy. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna make it less sassy. <laughs> That's fantastic, Vix. I appreciate that. So I'm just gonna take a brief break while standing awkwardly in the trouble center staring at the board to adjust my chalkboard. Okay. Now blank. Well, chalk dusty. Um, yes, K. Menzel. The word of the stream can be a simple drawing, as long as you do not mind that it will be drawn using my art skills and my art tools, which is currently rainbow chalk. So that, that's, that's what you get. But today we have Vixstra's redeeming word of the day on smoking apostrophe. And Mario is really rudely sleeping. Will I do this? But there we go. We got ourselves some smoking, smoking word of the day, which is fantastic. So thank you for redeeming that, Vixstras. Now I have to find my way into my rewards queue and like, it's just it's fine. Everything's fine. We're good. We are good. Woohoo! Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the way Strunk sleeps. Look at that. Just with his arms like flopped forward. Dude, I relate. I relate. Okay. However, what have we got? Uh, okay. So this involves running between Glitzville and Petalburg with stuff in the middle. Yeah. I mean, Vixstras, if you're talking in Minecraft, then no, because I've never played it. But if you're talking in real life... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... So apparently for Mario's sake is an expression. So this lady needs a recipe. Toasty over in Petalburg. 
Meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath Rogueport. So Merly wants to make a cake. So we're going to see if we can figure out how to make a cake. Hi, Big Tilly! Good morning! How how have you how have you recovered from from last night? If anyone if anyone here missed it, which I'm I'm really I'm really not sure who would have been here, who who wouldn't have been here. We had a great time with Big Tilly and Paul um, from Hops and Dragons, uh, playing some D and D themed Pictionary based drawing games on the top down tabletop stream last night and so if you missed that VODs on Twitch or the YouTube video will be up in a few days and you can enjoy You can enjoy the abject chaos that it was. It was a lot of fun. Really really enjoyable. Really enjoyable and also like just because I think that's how you spell that Yes Yes, that looks like them. They're pretty, they're pretty spectacular. Um, okay, wait, so that's not Merly. <sighs> which one is Merly? Oh, nice! You were drinking water out of that terrifying Viking horned mug with teeth. Well, I was drinking water out of a Pikachu glass, so... This, this is just how we do. How many star pieces? 15. 15's a lot. I can probably get something for 15 just because I'm here. Ooh, I can get both of those. Oh, or I can up my attack. Okay, let's do, let's do the, let's do the attack up for now. And we'll get the heart and flower finders later. Probably. I probably should have done that in the opposite order because it's not like I can wear the attack one. Um, so maybe this one's the Charmer's Hut? Or maybe the Charmer's Hut is the one on the other side? I... I have not been keeping track of where the various Merle people live, because I didn't think it was important. Okay. Are you Merle? Yes! Okay. So if I go to Petalburg and ask Toasty, that's good. That's good. I found the correct... I found the correct hut. Now I just have to find Toasty in Petalburg and Petalburg and Petalburg. Which is probably gonna be the perfect cover. Step one, get a skull of your enemy. Step two, imply you're drinking their blood from it. Step three, drink water instead. Step four, profit. <laughs> that, that just seems correct to me. Like, obviously that's how that works. Let's see if I can moonwalk through a door again. Eh, I don't think I managed, but that's okay. I got, I got, got, I'm getting there. Okay, so Petalburg is here. And I don't know who Toasty is. So we're just gonna have to experiment. Pretty sure the big house in the middle is Coops' house. Oh, okay, cool. A toad lives here. Yes! Okay, this is toasty. Cake mix and ruin powder. Cake mix and ruin powder. So I should probably just be able to, like, go talk to her, you'd think, right? Right? That's how these work? I do enjoy the troubles. But sometimes they can be confusing and or time consuming. However, consuming time is really what we're all here to do, so. Vixdraws, thank you for redeeming Beaver Gun. What would you like? I have elf ears, various headbands, various bows, various scarves, various gloves. What do you want? Elf ears. Oh, I see. We're trying to make me into a smoking hot elf, are we? I see what we're doing. I see. I see how today is gonna go. Come on. Come on here. Be cooperative. There we go. There's one. Yes. I'm still waiting for that shirt to arrive. I'm so bitter that it's like still stuck in Illinois according to the tracking. I just want my top-down merch, guys. Is that too much to ask? Objectifying hot elves. Objectifying hot elves is what we do. 
in this stream, in this stream and in many others. There you go. Now I have elf ears on. Ta-da. I am eyes pointy. Eye is pointy eared. And so thank you again for redeeming that. Very enjoyable. Uh, where am I going? Right, I'm going through this pipe because this lady wants to know the recipe that I just learned, which is ruin powder and cake mix. Ruin powder and cake mix. I probably am not going to need to tell her that. Okay. <sighs> so now she is requiring that we bring her some cake mix. Apparently she doesn't need the ruin powder. But man, does this ever add a stage. Lots of back and forth. So, thankfully I mentioned this on the last stream. There is a gambling parlor on the other side of town that I had to go hang out in for an earlier trouble. Bringing someone cake. Yes, that is, that is what we are doing right now, apparently. Oh, sorry about that. I think... I think Stream Elements got mad that that message was caps and symbols. Um, it, I think it was a mix because it was just symbols and capital letters and there wasn't anything else in there and so it panicked. <laughs> Which is very much a thing that Stream Elements does. And so I'm sorry about that, Big Tilly. You, you did not deserve that. You did not deserve that kind of shameful treatment. Yes! <laughs> that is correct. So if you've ever been in the Hops channel, they have a really cool, or, or like in other channels, I think Maritime Gamer TV has it and DM Shanks has it, though it isn't always on. Um, but there's there's a stream overlay where you can have a little avatar at the bottom of the screen and like the streamer can drop stars and you have to jump for them and you can gamble with them. So um, yeah, yeah, there's there's gambling in this game too, which is fantastic. So I have 10 piantas, which is the currency in the pianta parlor. And apparently she, she, there are, there are games. There are games. Um, so what have we got? Cake mix is six, which is great. Cause that means that we can just get it. Well, let me just look at what else there is. Cause I'm pretty sure a refund is kind of cool. Yeah. I already have most of the badges that I would want for that, so that's fine. Mostly what we use the gambling parlor for is to get cake mix because we need it for recipes. So now I have cake mix, which I can give, I do have to go this way still, which I can now give to that lady who lives under the town and can't leave her shop. I'm actually like a little concerned about that because if she's supposed to be a divination wizard, shouldn't she know when someone's gonna come to her shop? And therefore, like, shouldn't she know when she can safely leave to, to like, do, do shopping? How, how does she eat? <gasps> Yay! It's so good that you have your own little cottage in the woods away from all the sin. <laughs> That's fantastic, Vix. I'm very proud of your progress. And I'm now, like, officially tempted to, to figure out how to, how to Minecraft so I can, I can have a little cabin in the woods because that would be adorable. Uh, Fal, it's mutual split blame, so you're only being one-third blamed for tainting a house. Okay, got lots of money. That's great. That's great. So now there's only one more of those troubles and it is going to involve spending some money, which is a little bit annoying because we want sandwich making. Amazing. I, I did actually see in the Discord that, that, someone, that someone was making sandwiches in that house. Such sin. Yep. Uh, trouble. That's what I'm doing. Oh. Maybe I, I should also just, like, s check my email.
Okay, so Koopy Koo writing a gross email. Okay, and we got an email from the hide and seek dude that we found. That's lovely. It's nice that after you talk to people, they just have your email in this world. Okay, Babalber. Yeah, I will take on your trouble. It's the last one, chat. It's the last available trouble currently before I have to stop procrastinating and actually play the game. Cute cottages are the best. That'll work. That's where I'm going. Oh, just made it. So there's a Babulb friend in Petalberg. Wow. Oh, that might be him. But I thought he was this one. Okay, Menzel. Your priorities are very interesting, especially given that I'm currently playing a game that I don't... Actually, it's got to have some sort of universal Wi-Fi because I'm getting email on my phone no matter where I am. Okay. So he wants a hot dog. I think in total he's going to end up wanting two, and then also a cake. Oh, okay, Menzel, get out! No! No! Okay, Menzel. So, that's a joke. That is a joke of some quality. <laughs> I'll let you decide the quality. Wait, where am I going? Glitzville! Yeah, I have to ride a blimp. I'm totally remembering things. And I think I need a cake for him too, but I don't remember if it's just a cake or if it's like a more complicated cake. The errands are getting more complicated. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Sip my tea in. I don't know why I'm offering bangers on demand for free, but there you go, guys. That's true, King Menzel, because what we know about the poison cake is that it was utterly delicious. And so apparently poison does not make cakes less delicious. Thanks for being here, C Jinx. See you another time. And I hope your errands go well and that you get all the things you need. Guys, this means chat is unmonitored and K-Menzel might run wild. Now I have some hot dogs. I'm hoping this means I don't have to take the blimp back. Actually, I'm realizing this is honestly worth looking up. So, uh... Just in case I need, like, five... I am right. 
think I am right and I only need two. I just don't want to keep flying back and forth on a blimp, guys. I get motion sick. Notification noise. How fascinating. Okay. I'm gonna have to buy more piantas. Pianta changer, the Pianta changing, changing machine. Feels not worth. But it's fast. So we have our cake mix, we have our hot dogs. I love this lady. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stomp-a-lot? Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. I love the cooking music. That being said, I do love most of the music in this game. Okay, so back to Petalburg we go. To feed... Feed a... Bulb... 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 At least I'm mostly remembering how to navigate the overworld. bring something for you. So we brought him a hot dog. He says he wants another hot dog. And then he says he wants to chase it with a sweet. And so we will do that for him too. And he gives us a dried bouquet. Now I think I think a dried bouquet is something that you can only get from him, and I think it relates to a recipe we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make up later. So we're just gonna put that away. So that seems about right. So we are finally, 
finally, finally, finally caught up on all the troubles. That only took a stream and a half. Ooh. Some very, very demanding people and NPCs in this town. Some good side questing, though. So now we need to figure out how to start the next chapter. Which is okay, because I think I know how. Um, but I'm down some flower points. So we're gonna go for a little sleep first. Long rest time. Perfect. Okay. Now I will hit the save block. So we have done all the troubles. We have even saved after having done all the troubles. So that's working out really well for us. We can we can now just Yes, it was a beautiful little lullaby Big Tilly. Mario can't sleep unless you lullaby him or unless you are talking to him, at which point he just immediately falls asleep. That's 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 what I've learned. So this is really the only new place that we could access under here. We know this pipe goes to that pipe in the background, which is lovely. Yes, Kaz. Yes. <laughs> Kaz is lovely. So this pipe exists. And it is to Twilight Town. And Twilight Town is where we're trying to go. But the pipe rejected us. So apparently we need some lessons from, like, Kaz or someone else who's playing Boyfriend Dungeon. Because, like... I, I wanted to use this pipe and it rejected me. And that's, that's pretty rude. Yeah, the pipe is, the pipe is pretty dang rude. I will tell you that right now. Um. I'm gonna destroy this just because it's here. Combat. Oh no! Don't make him dizzy! I need him! It's fine. Yep, he missed. But that's okay. I'll just defeat them myself, Koops. How does that sound? Delightful. Money! Um... So, it is a little confusing that the pipe rejected us. So what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna go have a quick conversation with Professor Frankly. Because he's the guy who's supposed to know everything, right? So clearly, he should know why that pipe's being rude. Maybe he'll be able to tell us what we can do. Secrets chat. I already know what we need to do, but I'm pretty sure you have to follow the steps. Or it doesn't work. And I think this is the first step. Professor, we found the pipe that leads to Twilight Town, but it totally didn't work. It just pushes you right back out. We couldn't get through. What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Um, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Oh, of course. 
I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here at Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Ah, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. So that's what we're being told to do, is find the guy from Twilight Town. Now, this is one of the really cool features of this game. You guys have seen me do this before when I was looking for the thief, and I, like, didn't bring any attention to it at the time. But there's, like, really cool three-dimensional effects going on here. So this wall is not actually fully a wall. It's, like, disguising a back alley. And so this was one of the bandits that I was looking at. But more importantly for me right now is this guy. Hi there, the name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Uh, you want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on, I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, okay. I'll write it right here on the seat of your overalls. Mario, right? M-A-R-I-O? Guys, I think he's drawing on my butt. And, and I think- I'm not- I'm not entirely sure what he just drew on for Goombella, but apparently it was ticklish. So, that to me just feels like an artificial extension of gameplay. I have no idea why they felt the need to make us go find this guy other than like further fetch questing to start the next chapter but here we are and now we have our name written on whatever oh for some reason i thought i had yoshi out and i was thinking that that button would do something else that was actually helpful but it didn't and that's okay but speaking of having yoshi out because i do need him out now Thanks, Stronked. You're so Stronked. Okay. Here we go. Now we should be able to actually go to Twilight Town. Woo! Um, so this is chapter four. We have successfully figured out how to start chapter four, which is apparently called For Pigs the Bell Tolls. So we're going to learn what that's all about. Ooh. This is a creepy looking place. And that is a creepy looking pig. Hey, Big Tilly, does that, does that look anything like the bear that Paul drew last night? Because I'm really noticing, like, the snout. The snout vibes. I like this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away? <laughs> yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. That bear was something. It was something fantastic. I just, for the life of me, didn't recognize it as a bear. <laughs> Until there was like the plus symbol in between the owl that I did recognize and the bear that I did not. And then I couldn't type fast enough. So, sad. Sad lady QEW. I 100% thought pig at first, and then I was like, too too big for a pig? Maybe, maybe a horse? Maybe a... But like, I did not get around to bear, which is my own fault. Well, maybe I'll share that fault. Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear and a scary tale to tell, too. <gasps> Oh no! The bell rang again! Oh, this is so awful! Who could it be now? 
Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, I'm not sure who's speaking. Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. Yep, yeah, okay, I was right. It's the mayor. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe your adventures, right? Anyone else getting deja vu in this conversation? This isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. Thankfully, his home is right there. But as we're panning out, I'm noticing four pigs and only one person in this town. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa! Cursed? Yes, cursed. That That is the right word, right? Y yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart, an ancient building. The creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the Twilighters living here in this village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Uh, you, you people, you aren't think of thinking of going to the creepy steeple, are you? Brr, unthinkable. I don't know, man. I'm thinking it. Can I check your drawers? Okay, I can't. This isn't a Zelda game. It's fine. Um, so there's a lot of pigs. There's a lot of pigs. And there's some... Those are some really dark birds crows, ravens, something like that. Good reference point. Um, okay. That's a dude. Sorry, I just walked into your house, my dude. Ah, I keep jumping over the bushes instead of shaking them. Or jumping at the bushes instead of shaking them. None of them are giving me coins. Ah, Starbit. Yes. Okay, that tree is also not very helpful. Um, so there's an inn here. Oh, this is really cool. When we need healing, because we will definitely need he healing at some point in this chapter, coming back to the inn is actually really neat because this is the inn where they give you a peach when you sleep here, and you need a peach for, like, specific recipes that you're gonna make so this inn gives you peaches it's the first inn where you get a reward for actually staying overnight oh wow that's a that's a lot of pigs okay uh gosh all of these they all look like patchwork dolls to me and it's really giving off a creepy vibe oh there's crows in this one okay they just get upset when I when I hit the trees. So there's more pigs, but at least they don't attack me. There is an item shop. Oh, somebody's crying. That's unfortunate. Uh, this dude's guarding a gate. Okay. 
So we're going to need to go find the mayor to have... Well, this house probably belongs to someone who's currently a pig. Um, we're going to need to go find the mayor to get permission to leave the town, which is great. But first, I'm going to try to figure out why someone's crying here. Oh, whoa. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, there's a pig and a locked door. Uh, I think I probably know what's going on. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig! A pig! My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs, but no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. We got in a fight before he left, and I had called him a chauvinist pig, and now he really is a pig. <laughs> and now she is solid ranting about all of the wonderful things about her husband, I guess. Like, I'm not paging through this. That just is happening. Um, and Mario fell asleep. So... Okay, so she's offering us anything in the storeroom that might help, which is kind of cool. But we can't get into the storeroom because it is locked. And that's okay, because that just tells me that we're looking for a key somewhere. But first, we're looking for the mayor. And the steeple bell rings. Any guesses, chat, as to exactly how ridiculous this game is about to get? So the mayor's a pig now. Which means we can't get the mayor's permission. So I'm just gonna go back to the dude at the gate. Hitting the save block on the way, because it's what we do. Always save before you do weird things, and this whole chapter is weird. So, the lady shopkeeper is still crying. Um? But, but I just... But the mare's a pig. Shoot, I didn't do whatever thing I needed to do to change what he says. Probably needed to move closer until, like, my partner realized the mare was a pig, too. There it is. Cool. The game's requirements. It's like, clearly you've seen he's a pig. But you don't know he's a pig. Uh-oh. There's more ringing. So my guess is, yep! The guy guarding the gate is also a pig now. Well, not to be insensitive, but that works out for us. We can just cruise through. Yeah, Gumbella, that's a little insensitive, but that's okay. Okay, so now we actually get to play the chapter, which is good. Um, I definitely see something in here. Oh, cool! And we're gonna get cursed! That is definitely what that key always means. We, we located a black key. And there's an evil Goomba here. It is a hyper Goomba. Hyperactive Goomba. Ooh. Interesting. And if they power up, their attack goes really, really high. So that guy charged. And that guy didn't. That's good. Super lucky, that. Because that means I will just defeat the one that is charged up. Oh, I actually did want a tasty tonic. Sorry. Sorry, little puny. So this chapter is an interesting one because it introduces enemies that, like, really are just very, very powerful in terms of, like, the damage they can do to you. And so this is probably the first chapter where there will be some legitimate running away. 
probably check my badges and see how those are going. What do I even have? Multi-bounce, power smash, close call, chill out, damage, dodge, happy heart. And so I could put on a power plus if I took off the happy hearts and the damage dodge. That makes Mario stronger, but not really usefully. Well, oh, oh my gosh, that's nine. Okay, so I can leave the damage dodge on, apparently, as well as one of the happy hearts. Maybe both of the happy hearts? Maybe both of the happy hearts. Let's try our badges like this. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, still nothing. Sometimes they, like, hide things. Ooh, a para one. Okay. Come back, dude. There's probably three of them again. Ooh. Hyper Paragoomba. Same deal, but has wings. Easier to get them down, but I do not like. So, mostly the reason that I'm going with the power up is that there is another enemy that I'm going to be meeting later that I'm not sure I can hurt without having stronger whateverness. Okay, is there something above? Yes, there is. All of these little tricksy. Oh, 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 I need her to tattle, but oh dear. Then she can't hurt them. Awkward. You will also probably see me running through the forest trying to, like, dodge a bunch of enemies instead of fighting them. This is a very unique chapter. It is much more difficult. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Both of those things are bad. This is probably not a good use of this. Okay, five though. That's good. So I can get rid of one of them. Oh sweet, he used charge. That was a really dumb thing to do. Uh oh. Uh oh! Okay, not too bad. Whenever someone jumps out of the audience and runs backstage, there's a risk that a whole bunch of objects are just about to start falling on you, which is not ideal. Not ideal, but, you know, we managed. Okay, so we have successfully defeated all of the... all of the Goombas on this screen, which is great. Okay. Oh, that's a pig. And that is a key. Wahoo! Thankfully, I have the amazing coops. And so, I have found a shop key. Which makes me think, probably, need to go back to 
for that shot. And then we'll get to see what's in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are very useful things. Oh, these are very useful things. I'm definitely taking the life shroom. Oh, cool. Defend plus. I'm going to take the booze sheet because that will probably be helpful. I'm actually going to leave the jam and jelly because I need to give that to a shopkeeper right now. It, it gives me back way more health than I have. And... Very cool chat. The other thing that we're finding in this back storeroom is a locked black chest. So I don't know why the shopkeeper has this, but this is definitely one of the lovely cursed chests that we've been running into. And it's trying to uh, convince us to open it. So what's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here. No, 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 no. I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not. Seriously, just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous you sound right now? I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as well. A really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Oh, come on. Just find the key and open the chest. Pretty please. Um, and I'm just going to do it. They, oh, well, Big Tilly, these chests are so sus. Every single one of them has just been like, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how good my insight actually is. Is that how I set it up? Oh, cool. My insight is good enough to know that this game requires me to do it anyway. Yeah, but this chest is super sus. The other ones have been too, and they get funnier later. Like, some, eventually they just give up on the pretense and are like, dude, just open the chest so that I can curse you. Thank you. <laughs> we fools! Are we shocked? We're not shocked. Oh no! What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Well, no, I kind of thought you were a mimic and had teeth, but... Now I'm going to hit you with the king of curses, the cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having your body roll up. Be cursed. Wee hee hee hee. Now you're cursed, loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. That's how awful it is. Your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold R, then rotate the control stick repeatedly. So that's what that does. It curls us up into a little paper tube. Wee hee hee hee, your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard tube. Oh, how you'll be laughed at. Now, do you understand the depth of your own agony? Yes, yes, I understand. Press B to return to normal. Don't forget, mush brain. I'll leave you to suffer, fools. <laughs> so that was great. And now what's really great about that, I think I'm probably going to go back and save quickly. What's really great about that is that there's space under that tree at the end of the path. And now I can like kind of roll myself up. And so I think I might actually be able to get past it. What do I want? I think I do want Goombella initially to fight the first two, and then I want to switch. Oh my gosh. Email can even reach me here? So it's telling me about a train, and about hot dog stands, and about a recipe. That's great, because I definitely didn't know about those things already. Thumbs up, everybody. We smoking today. Hmm. 
So I'm just gonna beat up on some more Goombas. And get back my one health. Oh, this is cool. This also fills my audience. So now my maximum audience is 100, which is very useful for, like, filling up star power. They both chose to charge up, and so this would be terrifying. Except I think I might be able to kill them both in this round. So this is why my thought was... Get out of here, rock. Rock-throwing Koopa. This is why my thought was maybe having the power-up badge would help. Because there's certain ways you can simplify some of these fights to take less damage, as long as you're willing to use some flower points in exchange. You know, the usual drill. One thing for another. Oh, I missed. Get back here. Gotcha. Ooh, he's got ruin powder. That is exciting. And I want it. I'm a little worried he's gonna use it though. Another bingo! Why am I always getting bingos when I do not need them? Full audience 2.0. Yep, ruin powder. Makes us confused. I'm not sure it'll let me do this. Okay, it did let me attack him still. Oh! But Goombella got confused, and instead of attacking, just... Oh no! Oh no! Confusion is the worst! We made it. We're fine. I hurt Goombella in my confusion. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> nope. You are not the one that I want out for that fight. It's true, K. Menzel. Poor Goombella. I have damaged our relationship beyond repair. just gonna get rid of two of these guys on the first turn so that I don't have to deal with them. That's true. I could- I could feed her a health potion. I do have a mushroom. Voila! So we have again defeated the Goombas. Gosh, our FP looks low. I don't like that. I think I'm gonna need her out again, though. And now we get to the terrifying part of the chapter. So, if I roll up, I can roll right under that tree, which is fantastic. <laughs> Snakebird Priestess, valid. With the amount of advertising the hot dog gets. You would think it is the most powerful item in the game. So this is a haystack. Um, it looks like the end of the road, and I don't like that. So I'm going to see if I can move it. And hay seems really light, so we're going to use wind to do that. Thank you, Flurry. Revealing, again, the very cool sneakiness of this game, where there's pipe in the background as well as in the foreground. So we're going to anticipate that we pop up there, and this is how we get to the forest. And this is actually where you are going to see me starting trying to skip some combats because they're terrifying. Oh, they're terrifying. Because this is where you meet crazy daisies. And eventually I am going to run out of like flower points and then they're gonna get really hard to fight and they're really hard for me to defend against. I get my timing wrong every time. I just... I find them very difficult enemies, and they can put you to sleep and just do loads of damage. Ah, dang it. See? See what I mean? Wrong. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know what I want to do because they also like, well, sometimes they run away, I think, if you get them low enough in health. So maybe I'll just whack her and see if she'll leave. Nope. Ah, I swear I got it that time. Oh well. That's fine. That's fine. So that's our introduction to Amazy Daisies. They're the worst. And they can hurt both you and your partner. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's money. Love money. Love me some money. So, Snakebird Priestess, it's very interesting, because I've played this game through a couple of times. Um, I'm just kind of playing it through casually because I love this game. I have, on occasion, defended against their song. Never at any time when it would have helped, and I 100% have missed it every time that getting hit would have killed me. So, like, what I know about this is that it makes no sense to me at all whatsoever. I have no idea how to actually defend against this attack. And then it kind of only gets worse when instead of j oh, If I could turn around, maybe, maybe that would help. Oh no, oh no, it's a gold one. Okay guys, I'm not even gonna pretend that I can beat the gold one because it does like 20 health or something on its big attack. I, I, I am, I am having none of this. None of this fight. Running. Hecking running. Did you see how close I got to failing that, like, flea? Oh, that was a high level of difficulty. Yeah. Um, I'll, I, 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 I'm probably not going to meet one twice in a row, though. Oh, but that guy's here. Okay. So hyperclefts suck. Uh, they're kind of like the Goombas in that they, uh, can charge up their attack and do just a lot of damage. And their defense is three, which makes them really hard to kill with a max HP of four. Um, yeah. But they suck. And so you basically have to use flower points to fight them. Oh good, she left because that like flips them upside down and stuff. But that means that if you run out of flower points, you can no longer fight them at your current strength, which is sad. It is sad. So I'm just further whittling away. What is this? Hammer throw. That will be helpful at another time. I think there's like one tree somewhere along here that is like hiding something important. Oh, interesting. So we've come to what appears to be another dead end, but if you look in the background, um, you can see that there is a stump with a little like door on it. So I'm just gonna assume that there's a secret door here. And it looks like I was right. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that was a weird transition to have happen when I was holding left and I just appear to be going right. Um, I think only him. Stuck in the middle of an ocean. <laughs> that's fantastic. I hope, I hope you survived. Okay, so that is also not the sneaky tree. Oh, there's a hole there. And a rock here. Do I need... I don't... Mm. Is this what works? Yes! Oh, cool! So that reveals that I can do the other thing that I can do, which is spin jump on this to fall through, pop out there. Um, push that out of the way. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I see what I'm doing. Ooh! Did, did, are you looting the pyramid now, Vix? Cause looting pyramids and is, is cool. It's, it's tight, it's tight. Oh gosh, K Menzel, why are you writing interview questions? Like troubleshooting at work, I understand. 
Okay, so that's apparently how we get through that. Oh, dear. You're doing the interview? I mean, like, not not that I think that you can't, but like... Is that... is that your job? Oh my gosh, Vix, it sounds like you're just terrifyingly taking over the realm. Please stay down. Sweet, please stay down. I'm getting really low on flower points, guys. I might need to actually use the supplies I brought with me. Loot the pyramid, loot the village. Thank you, Bella. Okay. No, that's fine. Oh, this is the one. Come on. There we go. I got a shine sprite. I have four of those. That's really good. That means when I make friends with Vivian, I can actually do something about it. <gasps> Cutscene! Guys, we made it to the creepy steeple! I'm honestly astounded. Let's get the crystal star and get out. You know what? I really agree with you, Goombella. But the other thing I agree with is this health block and this save block. Okay. Aha! So this won't open. <laughs> Weak, it won't open. This exists, but I think I don't need to go down here yet, so I'm not going to show you guys what's down there because it is a lot of combat. Um, but what we do have... So we've got that little space there that lets us, like, sneak in. So we're going to sneak in. You know? Just, just do a little sneak. Do a little sneak there. Okay, so there's a key and a door. And a this. Well, this is the first place I'm gonna go because that looks suspicious. <gasps> Another one! Ooh, a cookbook! Okay, I see, I see a little, yeah, I see a glitter. An ice smash! Wait, do I already have one of those? I did already have one of those. That's okay. Okay. So I have now looted part of the creepy steeple. One room of it, at least. Now I need to figure out what else we need to do here. So there is a door there and a door here. And a star-shaped podium here. Interesting, that shakes when you push it. Oh! Oh! And I fell in. Interesting. That looks suspicious. Oh! The darkness. Very intimidating. Got myself a flower saver. That might be useful for the trip back. And there is a door here. Guys, we're about to get some plot. Mm. So that door is locked, which means all we have to interact with is this little box. And as we've learned in this game, boxes are always trustworthy. They're always perfectly trustworthy. Nothing bad has ever happened to us from opening a box. <laughs> Big Tilly, I keep hoping it's a mimic, but it never is. Okay, it's quiz time, interloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us booze came out? Total. I have no idea. Good. Very good. Take this, math nerd. See a sucker. So I did get it right. There were 200, and I got a shroom, but I still can't get through that door. Which is okay, probably. There's two other doors to explore. Again, probably. Actually, 
I might be doing this in the wrong order. I kind of don't want to talk to him. Oh. Oh dear. That's terrifying. I guess I have to. Are you going to be mean to me? And they're very tricksy ghosts. So now all 200 ghosts are just kind of... Here... And if you spend, like, too long paying attention to them, bad things happen. Which sucks. I'm trying to decide what I'm most likely to need. I'm about to fight an enemy that is complicated. Maybe I will switch that for that. So this is where we get introduced to these swoopin' dudes. They are called swoopers. And they like staying on the ceiling, which makes them irritatingly difficult to fight. But, Quake Hammer does work. That is good. Nice! Oh. Whoops. Oh. Well, that bodes well, guys. Failed to defend both of those. It's okay. I'm sure it's fine. Mario's even giving me a thumbs up. It's totally fine. Right? Okay, so that one's done. And that one's done. The other thing you can do if you don't have Quake Hammer equipped, Flurry's Body Slam definitely dislodges them from the ceiling. Um, but I didn't have Flurry out, so... Thankfully, Swooper no swooping! <laughs> hey, Mansell! Swoopers have to, like, Swoopers gotta swoop. It's like, play is, play is gonna play. Swoop is gonna swoop. Swoop, 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 swoop. And the Cooper's gonna coop, 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 coop. I am really sad that I had two of those. Okay. So what I've learned is, I do not actually need the hammer throw, because it's basically the same as Quick Hammer. So we're fine. She just crushed that bat. That was fantastic, Flurry. I very much enjoyed that display of power. Oh. Okay, I don't need or want that, but that's okay. So there's a switch here. And I'm gonna hit this switch because I think it does what I want it to do. And then you'll see what happens afterwards. So this is why there's two doors. There's a door on either side of the steeple, and they both have a switch at the end of this little path with another door. And when you go in this other door, what you see is that these stairs. And if I had gone in the door first, which would have probably been nice, the stairs would have been in the middle. And so that switch moves the stairs down, and the switch on the other side moves the stairs up, which is important because at the top of the stairs, there are doors. And the door in the middle leads you nowhere. But the door on this side... I think I need Yoshi for this. The door on this side leads you... Oh, no, wait. I actually need coops for this. Leads you to a key. And then the door on the other side leads you to a lock. So since I'm back here, um, I'm not going to bother too much 
I am gonna have to come back here and look for something um, because there is a very cool break. Well, I'll just show you it because I'm here. Haha, <laughs> swooper. No swooping. I might have to fight that. This is a really cool tree. It gives you gold leaves. But I can't carry any more items. I'm gonna throw that one away because I really doubt I'm gonna use it. But I'm probably gonna have to throw the gold leaf away at some point too. I don't want to fight you though. I just wanna... It's so bouncy. So I'm just gonna move the steps to the other side. I'm trying to see if I can get to the next, like, major plot moment before I have to stop streaming. Which is why I'm kind of, like, rushing this part, because there's a really cool thing that happens in this chapter that I love so much. I think I might need Stronked again. I'm just gonna outrun all these ghosts. Hit the save block. Pull myself out of Goombella. Pretty big permanently missable secret. I mean, I don't intend to fight the giant boo if that's what that is. And I haven't gone into the well yet because I don't have Vivian and I need Vivian to like do the wholeness of the well. Yes. So there is a very, and I, I can't explain that specifically because I don't intend to do it. Um, there is a mini, an optional mini boss here. The optional mini boss is called an atomic boo. And it's basically if I wait too long in the same place in this steeple right now, before like beating this chapter, all of those boos are going to combine into one big giant boo. And I lose that fight every time <laughs> and so since it is optional i am not going to do it <laughs> but yes if i if i don't do it now i basically don't get to do it at all <laughs> oh my chat's a bully big tilly i think that's very funny ah uh... You're going to delay my game intentions, guys. Should never have told you about him. This is what I get. This is what I get. How's my party doing? Other than Gumbella, we're pretty healthy. I do, in fact, have all the items in the universe right now. So let's look at my badges. I'll give it my best shot. I do not need multi-bounce if I'm going to fight Atomic Boo. I'm not sure I need Power Smash or Quake Hammer, because I don't think I can hit him with any of those. I think he hovers. Maybe that's the best setup. Bunch of dodging. Bunch of damage dodging. Okay, dudes. Do your thing. I just saved, so if I die, I'll probably be okay. Is there something specific I'm supposed to do to summon him? It's fine, Snakebird Priestess. My chat's just a giant bully, and I know it. Okay, they just picked me up and dropped me out, so... That is obviously not what I'm supposed to do to try to fight him. 
how do I get Oh, the longbow will be nice. Aha! Okay, I need to spin them off of me. I, I need to spin them off of me. <laughs> Getting her to do things she wasn't planning on doing is an A-plus chat goal. You know what, Kimenzel? You are not wrong. I'm just gonna crank this and hold it. Oh, it's not letting me do things anymore. I think I, I think I was successful. What is the point of chat if not this? Oh my gosh, big straws! That's so cute. It looks like you're booping the bunny nose. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. That's so cute. Chummy adversarial relationship is why we have chat. Okay, so this boo considers what I just did to be lying to him, which is why it's an optional mini boss. Because as you can see, they don't actually hurt you initially, so it's really easy to just miss this. But now there's a giant boo, and I'm gonna have to see if I can beat him. This is the atomic boo. I cannot flee, so I'm just thankful that I've saved. So Goombella, tell me about him, please. This is an atomic boo. It's a giant boo made up of a ton of smaller boos. And also the audience is here and they're all boos. So we have a lot of boo going on right now. I need RJ Helms and his boo moat to just be like boo all the way across the screen. So 40 health, four attack, no defense. It will try and smoosh us or split up and send hundreds of boos at us. And we might get scared if we try to attack it. This is, this is part of the reason why this fight is so difficult, chat, because, like, there's just so many ways it can confuse you. Okay, I dodged that. It's the smooshening. Watch me not get hit by any status effects, and this is just, like, the easiest fight like ever. That looks like it's trying to scare me, but then it didn't do anything. Guys, this fight is going really easily so far. There we go. There's the scarage. Why is this fight so easy? That's this is a hard fight, right? Gosh, maybe I just flunked it the first time I did it, and I decided that meant it was hard. Oh, there we go. Oof. It is doing a huge amount of damage to me right now. And so, like, this would suck if it kept going for any length of time, because it is damaging both me and my partner simultaneously. But... There you have it. And we also earned a level up from that, so we get our everything back. Um, I am torn because I know what's coming next. So I'm going to take flower, flower points. Ooh, ooh, I want that. Yes. That's kind of neat. Okay, and so, do I want to do this now? I maybe don't want to, because that was actually a very good setup for, like, a boss fight. Okay, so now the boos aren't tracking me, but I have to get back to the stairs. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll go this way. That is quite a reference, Fix Draws. But at least I'm not out of faith. I think I can defeat whatever is about to happen. So there you go, chat! There's the optional boss fight that I was gonna skip because the first time I did it, I died a lot. And apparently, you can get really lucky if it doesn't use any of its status inflictions against you. So that's cool. 
That's cool. Yay for no status effects. Because it can make you, like, the atomic boot can make you scared. It can make you confused. Those are both things that can, like, prevent you from playing the game. I don't want an HP drain. I don't want an HP drain. Stop it! <laughs> Do you know what, Big Tilly? I doubted me too. So, it's only fair. Lady QEW skill involved. Oh, shoot, my Quake Hammer isn't equipped. Well, that's a shame. This fight's gonna take a really long time. But it's okay, because we also have um, a healing block up top, so I can still prep myself. Oh, nice! Drop them all! Oh, he was going for Mario. I thought he was going for Flurry. So was he! My gosh. I'm not very good at angles. Uh, valid, Big Tilly. That is a valid response. Flurry is very questionable to me in terms of everything. She's very bouncy, though. She's a nice, nice cloud-like figure. Okay, we're gonna pull Gumbella out. I don't think I have to change the stairs because I think they're still in the... They are not still in the right place. Respawning. I actually thought the drawings that you did last night were really good at communicating. And that's what's important. Okay. Great. I'm gonna heal first. Because I think I took some damage. Yeah. It's worth the coins. Autocorrect is never your friend. There's that meme about it actually being like a, a, a helpful elf in your phone who's just in fact quite drunk. And that has always been my favorite way to think of autocorrect. So, we have just a couple minutes. Oh, I really don't have time to do this. I have to catch a train in 25 minutes, chat, which means I don't think I have time to show you the big reveal about what happens now in this chapter. So I hope you enjoyed the Atomic Boo fight, but if you want to know what other secrets the Creepy Steeple holds, you might have to come back on Monday. Oh, thank you for the follow, Snakebird Priestess. Really happy to have you here, to, to have you, you know, calling me out on the things I was just going to skip in the game. So, on that delightful cliffhanger, um, we, we're, we're gonna take a look around and find a person to raid, and just because of who's in my chat. <laughs> oh yeah, that helps me reach a follower goal. <laughs> Thanks, Kimenzel, for the reminder, but you might notice up here, um, I have, I had a follower goal, and so, so that's really awesome to have you here, Snakebird Priestess. Nice. Nice. We now we now have the perfect number of followers. There's no need to get any more followers ever. Um, but still, if you know someone who like would enjoy this kind of content, like send it my way. That's cool. That's cool. We can we can deal. We can deal. Um, <laughs> thank you, Falerix. I really enjoy that that has caught on so much. Um, okay. So I'm just taking a look around. Um, I had a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this introduction to this chapter, to the Creepy Steeple. We got to none of the plot, but we got to enjoy a lot of other aspects of things. So all we know now is things are being turned into pigs. It's fine. We're fine. Um, this was a bit of an unusual stream time for me. Usually I stream at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, but my favorite my favorite extra spot is 10 a.m. If, if my 2 p.m. doesn't work for one reason or another. Because, you know, it's still... That's still good. Um, so I will be live again on Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Hopefully some of you will come back to see the big reveal of this cliffhanger of what happens when we get to the top of the stairs, because I'm not going to tell you. For once, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Um, and I'm just going to go find someone to raid. So my raid message tends to be keep it cute, because um, that is branding, I'm told. And it looks to me as though, so where I'm going to go, and I apologize in advance for all of the ways in which this is going to be an interesting one. Um, we're going to go raid uh, the delightful Kaz the DM, who is playing Boyfriend Dungeon right now. And it's, it's going to be an interesting one. So let me just get that set up. <laughs> Oh, Falerinx, thank you so much for gifting that tier one sub to Big Tilly just, just so that he could have the raid message is, is my feel on that. Yeah, so if Boyfriend Dungeon offends you, you can leave. But Kaz is a delight, um, always has really chill vibes in his stream, so we're gonna pop over and, and say hi. And hopefully, hopefully this isn't this isn't an awful idea, <laughs> we're doing it anyway, even if it is. So thanks everyone for being here. Thank you all for being wonderful. Make sure you add to the delightful chill vibes that are happening over at Kaz's and I'll see you next time.